Hello everyone. Welcome to pfox.com. This is Arun Motori. In this Selenium Automation Tutorial Series, I am going to explain the HTML basics for Selenium. HTML basics are one of the prerequisites for learning Selenium, guys. So, as part of the previous sessions, I have already covered, I have already covered six parts of HTML basics, which are required for learning Selenium. In this session, I am going to explain the seventh topic of HTML basics, that is adding different sizes of headings to the HTML web pages. How to add different sizes of headings to the HTML web pages. And guys, before I move forward, I would like to mention that whatever the HTML basics that I am explaining as part of this video tutorial series will be enough, guys. And you don't have to personally explore other HTML basics for learning Selenium. Okay, whatever the HTML basics I provided in this video tutorial series will be enough, guys. And you don't have to learn the complete HTML. You don't have to learn the complete HTML for Selenium, guys. You, do, you only have to learn whatever I am teaching you as part of this video tutorial series. That will be enough, guys. You don't have to learn any other further things outside this tutorial and the reason for that is my intention of explaining html basics for selenium is to make you understand the basics of html guys so that you can understand few other concepts that are coming in the upcoming video series so without having this basic html knowledge you will not be able to understand those things guys okay you will not be able to understand those things which are coming in the later sessions of this selenium tutorial so whatever the basics that I am explaining will be finally enough and you don't have to explore the complete HTML from the outside this tutorial. So blindly follow what I am teaching as part of HTML basics in this tutorial guys and you don't have to worry anything else. So guys in this session I am going to the I am going to explain the seventh part of the HTML basics that is adding different sizes of Headings to the HTML web pages. So let's get started. I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session on how to add different sizes of headings. So, guys, before moving further, what exactly is a page heading? Any page, any web page you see can have a heading, guys. Okay. Any web page that you see can have an heading. For example, let me practically demonstrate that what exactly heading is. So let me practically demonstrate a heading guys. So I have, I have opened a Chrome browser and in this I am searching a address say qfox.com and uh, in this you can see a lot of articles here, right? So click on any article. So you see this is a page, this is a web page. This is one of the web page and it has a heading, right? This is a heading guys, this is nothing but the heading. The title of the web page is nothing but the heading of this page. Here also you can see some headings, Java for tester, different type. This is the title of the page and this is the heading of the page, okay? Java for tester, different type of operators in Java. So almost title and uh, heading looks same. So this is nothing but the heading guys. Under heading, we have written some text. You can have different sizes of heading in the same article, okay? So this is one type of heading of one size and you can add multiple sizes of headings also as per your need in this article, okay? So these are nothing but heading guys. These are nothing but headings. So let's move to the presentation. So as you have now understood what exactly heading is in the article above some text, if you want to make some text highlight, you can make it as a heading guys and the size of the heading depends on your needs. Okay. If you want to emphasize the heading more, it, maybe it is a top level heading. You can actually make it as a higher size heading. Whereas Going down, if you have multiple headings and there are subheadings under that, you have again sub subheadings, then you can actually vary the size. For the top level heading, you can give the highest size, and uh, the low level headings or subheadings, you can give the lowest size, right? Lowest size of the headings. So, to do the same, to, to do the same in the HTML pages, we can do with the help of this heading tags. As you can see here, I have just given for reference some heading tags. You see, H1 is there, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. There are six heading tags 
and uh, why these heading tags are different h1 is different from h2 and h2 is from h3 and h4 h5 h6 the reason here is h1 is for creating the highest size of the heading in the html okay if you are going to use h1 tags the text that is going to be placed between this h1 tags is going to be the highest size heading in the html whereas if you give h2 h2 for the text to be displayed then that text becomes a next level heading guys okay after h1 size h2 is the next size of the heading then h3 comes then h4 then h5 h6 h6 is going to be the lowest size heading in the html guys so there are different sizes of heading headings in html and if you are going if you are giving h1 it will become the biggest size of the heading in html if you are going to give h6 then it is going to be the smallest size of the heading in html and in between you can understand that the size of the h1 heading will be bigger than the size of the h2 and the size of the h2 will be bigger than the size of the h3 and size of the h3 will be bigger than the size of h4 and going on the h6 so let me practically demonstrate this for you guys and uh, in the practical way on how to create such kind of headings in html while writing the html code so let's let me practically demonstrate that for you so open notepad plus plus with before writing any code save it as html format so select a desktop and here write some something like headings dot html the extension of the html file is dot html and in the save as type select all types and click on save now start writing the html code html slash html head slash head body slash body inside the inside the body tags now write heading tags that is h1 fox the software testing tutorials slash h1 now under this paste paste it so that i am going to just change the numbers so here we have h1 i am just changing to h2 then h3 then h4 then h5 then h6 here also h2 h3 h4 h5 and then h6 I have given different sizes of headings here so simply save this file go to the desktop and this is the file that got saved html file right click on this html file select open with google chrome and observe that different sizes of headings are displayed here this is the highest size of the heading that is h1 tag then h2 tag head heading h3 tag heading h4 tag heading h5 tag and finally the smallest heading tag that is h6 tag this is the smallest size sized heading in the html so this is how we can display or add different type of headings to the html code so here concludes this current session guys in the next session i will explain the next topic on html for selenium in the next video session i will be explaining the topic so thank you guys see you in the next session bye